What's good, y'all? This your boy, the Lucas Monster. I know my mama saw me on the camera. Hey, mom, how you doing? I love you. Just in case you hear this. And don't mind what the hell's going on. Because, you know, it's after 10 and niggas is acting the fuck up. So go ahead, do what you do. And nod your head. Let's get it. For everybody else, you know what they're getting into. I got a special guest right here. Um, goes by the name of Mega Swag. He has a public service announcement. Well, actually, a personal service announcement. And we still might get punched in the fucking head. But, uh, yo, without me, dude, go ahead, nigga. First things first, I want to give a special shout out to my people, the Swag Warriors. Sweetie, swiggity, swish, swish, swag. Now, first of all, I am what you would call a Swag Warrior. Where I come from, swag is more important than a glass of water. Now, I feel like I've been attacked. Cause you know, I went to Paris and Europe and I got my shit swagged the fuck out. Everybody gave that motherfucker ASAP Rocky credit. That nigga saw me and the extra large wife beat a shit first. Man, you goddamn troublemaker. It's a big ass wife beater and I had it first. Go check my closet. Swag the fuck out. I got it in every goddamn color. Then this motherfucker Kanye gonna run up. This nigga borrowed my shit and gonna go out and perform in it. What type of shit is that, cuz? Shit. You know damn well that was for me and Kim K. We supposed to go out and have lunch and shit. But beyond that point, I feel like me and my swag warriors are being attacked. And the leader of this motherfucking attack is this asshole laughing. <laughs> first things first, I went out, I got my damn, I got my damn mini skirt and shit. <laughs> But it ain't like a woman mini skirt, it's a man skirt, cause you know we on that swag shit. <laughs> and then this motherfucker had the motherfucking nerve, the motherfucking nerve people, to make a fucking song called Ballroom Bitches. <laughs> it ain't my fault that you ain't swagged out, my nigga. Then on top of that, The rest of his fucking friends, these goddamn pie world niggas, fucking troublemaking ass motherfuckers. And now I'm sitting here, you know, I, I tune in from time to time, you know, the show I, right, you know, ain't all that, it's I. Right. Then I, I heard this shit earlier. Some nigga was up here talking about some. Wearing tight pants and what he gonna tell his kids? <laughs> Nigga, you tell your kid that's swag! <laughs> so now I'm getting attacked in New York by these pie niggas. And then I'm thinking, well, you know what? I'm gonna go to the West Coast. But apparently I can't go there neither because these niggas is from the West Coast. What they call this up? Madhouse Production? Oh, and don't get me started on that woman that runs it. Don't get me wrong. She looks sexy in her little black dress. But now she got her team hating on me. Because she know if I pull my shit out, it's going to be swag the hell out. So just this lane. I see you, baby. You look good in that little black dress too. But you know what you need, right? You need a little swag in your life, baby. I 
by me and you matching wife beater dresses, baby. We can rock matching schoolgirl dresses and everything. Don't worry about all these niggas. They just mad because they can't fit skinny jeans. I'm, I'm about to take it to a new level. Fuck skinny jeans. I'm about to paint my shit song. So, so I just, so I just want to send a special shout out to Justice Lane, Madhouse Productions, Empire World, and I repeat, you have not seen the last of Ultra Swag. The swag illusion will not be televised. <laughs>